hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b plus b plus b divided by b is equals to square root of b and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here we need to find all the roots of this equation so that we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method first you see here this b is added by three times so it will become three times of b and here you see that this b is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this square root of b and we write in this way okay further in the next step we need to remove this square root sign from right hand side and for this we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we take squaring it will be written as 3b whole square is equals to b times square root of b and its whole square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will become here we apply the square separately on both of these two values and it will become 3 square multiplied by b square equals to here we apply this square separately on both of these two values and it will become b square into square root of b and its whole square and in the next step we have this is 3 square and 3 square becomes 9 this is b square is equals to here we have this is b square this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here b only and further in the next step we obtain this is 9 times of b square is equals to this b square multiplied by b becomes b cubed and in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we move this 9 b square from left hand side to the right hand side and it will become this is b cubed minus 9 times of b square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step here, here you see that both of these two values involve b square so that here we take common b square so that when we take common b square from here we get the remaining values are from here we get b only minus when you take common b square from here we get this is 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b square is equals to 0 and the second case is we write b minus 9 is equals to 0 so from here you see that the exponent of b is 2 so it means that this equation has two roots uh, so these two roots are b equals to 0 and 0 okay these are the two repeated roots uh, these are the two repeated real roots and from here we get the third root of the given equation and this is b is equals to plus 9 so this is the distinct real root of the given equation so here you see that we will obtain these are the three roots of the given equation and in the next step we need to verify that is this value of b is satisfied our given question statement or not so that for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is b plus b plus b divided by b is equals to square root of b this is our given question statement and in this side we will be verified b equals to 0 and in this side we will be verified b is equals to 9 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and here when we put b equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as 0 plus 0 plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to square root of 0 and here we obtain this is 0 over 0 equals to 0 and here in the left hand side you see that this is the uh, 0 by 0 form and usually we call that it is indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this concludes for that the value of b equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that b equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so b equals to 0 be the extraneous root and now here we move towards uh, the second root and now we substitute b equals to 9 into the left hand side and right hand side as well 
so after substituting this it will be written as 9 plus 9 plus 9 divided by 9 is equals to square root of 9 and further in the next step we have this is this will becomes 3 times of 9 divided by 9 is equals to this is square root of 9 and square root of 9 is equals to 3 so this 9 and this 9 are gone and we get here 3 is equals to 3 so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of b equals to 9 is satisfied our given question statement so uh, we finally conclude about that b equals to 9 be the solution set of the given equation okay so this is the final conclusion about first method and now we move towards our second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is b plus b plus b divided by b is equals to square root of b so this is our given question statement and here in this method uh, we just directly uh, get the roots of this equation or we use the very quick method okay so here you see that b is added by three times it will become three times of b divided by b is equals to square root of b and here you see that this b and this b are cancelled out by each other and we get 3 is equals to square root of b so here for the values of b we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we take squaring it will be written as in this form and we have this 3 square becomes 9 this 2 and square root are gone and we get b only okay so this is the value of b uh, which we get here in the second method uh, and in the first method we already verified that this value of b is satisfied our given question statement so which means that the solution set of this question is b is equals to 9. So this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.